Well, Shemai, everyone, I thought I would do a little catch-up video because even though we haven't moved into the house yet, hopefully this summer, um, there's been a few changes. I've been organising some of the stuff in my craft room. I've been bringing over things that I don't use every single day. But now I'm having to sort of start to really think about, well, I need this in the next few months. And I've been sort of trying to bring it across just to make it easier when we actually move that I'm not using about 10 um, removal lorries just for my craft room. So as you can see, there has been more stuff added. And I thought I would just go through some of the organisation that I've got, some of the storage ideas I've had. And being in the UK, we can't always get all the fabulous deals that you get in America. But um, I just thought I'd have a, have a little look around. So these are my top cabinets as you walk in. There's my door. This is going to be my die cutting area. And as you can see there, I've got, they are self-healing cutting mats. They're actually the leftovers from my desk. As you can see, my little dog is flat out in the corner with her giraffe by the side of her. So as I say, this is my die cutting area. So this cupboard here has all my Sizzix dies, my big sort of Sizzix dies because I still use them. Obviously, I've got my Big Shot Plus here. I've got my other Big Shots in my other craft room. So, um, obviously, that'll be there as well. Then this one I'm using at the moment for framelets and some of my embossing folders. I've got a lot more embossing folders. So, um, I'll have to rethink the embossing folders. They're just there for the time being. And I've also got my little sidekick there. Now, my big cupboards there are a bit of a mess. I haven't sorted those at all. But I did this drawer yesterday. And these are all my embossing powders and things like that. I bought these handy little jars here from Ikea because I ended up with like two or three tubs of Stampin' Up! White and Pool Party. I think I bought them in the clearance as well. So I've emptied them out of the little tubs. These are Ikea ones here, and I've just labelled everything. There we go, more embossing powders. And if you look, you can see just there. So I've got, um, this is actually a Howden's kitchen. And so these are kitchen drawers, so they're nice and deep. This one there is going to house all my framelets. Because as I say, this will then be my cutting area. Knowing me, I'll be lazy and still end up bringing it to my desk anyway. And then this bottom one here, at the moment it's got punches in. I might have to rethink that because obviously I have got quite a few punches and it will be really heavy on this drawer. And even though we've strengthened the drawer, I don't want to risk it. So I might, I might end up moving some stuff around there. Then this drawer here has my mink machine and all my foils and anything to do with mink foiling and my fuse. So that's all there. This one then is a bit of a hodgepodge at the moment. I've got embellishments mainly in this drawer. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bad chest again for change. Um, so I've, these ones I bought on Amazon. These little ones then are from Ikea. Ikea have got so many fantastic little storage bins. I think they're all created with a crafter in mind. Cricket cartridges in here. I have got more in the house to bring over. Ones that I use regularly for school displays are in the house at the moment. Now, once again, I haven't done much with these big cupboards. I have got, <coughs> excuse me, um, these storage boxes here with the coloured bins are housing old photos because obviously when my mum and dad passed away because I've lost my sister as well I've got all the family photos so although I've sorted out quite a few my dad was a really keen photographer I think that's what started me off with my love for scrapbooking so I've got an awful lot of photos there at the moment I just got a glitter card but again I haven't done anything really with this cupboard my dream cut I don't even know whether I'm going to keep that this is going to be my technology shelf. It's very old fashioned, I know, having a CD player, but I had bought it for Mum the year before she passed away. 
And I've got boxes and boxes of CDs that I love to listen to. DVD player, because once again, I've got lots of DVDs that I like watching. Nothing much in this shelf, at the, in this cupboard at the moment. This cupboard again has just got random, random pieces that won't be staying there. At the moment, I've got craft books and some cookery books there. I'm actually going to look for a little second-hand bookcase to go under the eaves to house all those, because they're not books I use very often. Just rubbish in that. Not rubbish in that cupboard, but it's just things for the for the uh, um, the kitchen sort of area. My Explore one. This was my mum's. I've got my still got my old Cricut Expression, which I absolutely love. So Lee is going to build me a little shelf so I can have my Cricut Expression there. Explore one down the bottom, and then my silhouette. I had the Big Fiskers trimmer for Christmas. It is absolutely fab. Again, these drawers haven't been sorted. I've started to sort this one. I've got my silhouette pens and my Cricut pens there. And I have put ribbon in this one, but I've got lots more ribbon to add in. There she is, she's flat out. This is a, a giraffe that she stole from my classroom once when she came to visit. I got one of these little filing cabinets from Ikea. It was actually all gray. But it was looking a bit bashed up, so I spray painted the front. And I've got adhesives in there. Um, gilding, um, gilding flakes, which I don't use as often as I should. A range of stamp pads. Um, stitching templates. Excuse the bang in the background. Martha Stewart punches, which again I don't use very often. And I've got the stamp around from sta stamping up. I can't see me keeping all that either. I need to have a little sort out there when I'm over here, I think. So in this cupboard here, which is above my tea making area, I've got my cups, my tea caddy. This is actually full of melts for my wax burner down here. This is full of my Xyron adhesives. This drawer is very, very pretty. Is all sewing threads. So these are my sewing drawers then. Then more bits and bobs. I did put these glues in. They shouldn't be there. So everything to do with sewing, equipment wise and threads are in here. Then I utilised one of my hobby craft trolleys to become my Gemini Junior station which has got my die cutting machine, my file platform, and then the file dies and files and all that, all those gubbins there. I then had, this was from my mum's craft room. So I've just filled it with, I think I've got paper flowers there, that although I don't use very often, I do use them now and again. So these are things, like the enamel dots and gems I use a lot. As I say, these are lots of this now has come from my mum's craft room. This is my other hobby craft cart, and this is the one is not this isn't the final setup because I've got stuff obviously that I use in my current craft room that will be coming over. My husband 3D printed me one of these, which is perfect. I've actually got my pro markers there. I don't use them very much, but since I've sort of working with a limited amount of stuff over here, I, I've been using them quite a lot. So that's that little one. Now then, I, if you see my previous videos, I actually made these, I say me, Lee and I, it was like a, a joint project, I'd like to say, out of foam board. I bought more now to make the fifth one there, which is going to house on my A4 card. Then this down here, these are from Crafters Companions. They're totally Tiffany ones. I bought them in a sale because I find they're really expensive just for cardboard file folders, but I had them on a really good price, including all these little um, dividers. So that's going to be my 12 by 12 area across there. Then down here, I bought these inserts from Ikea. I've actually managed to fit six by six in there. I've got, as I say, I've got more in my current craft room. 
Then another one of these boxes from Hobbycraft. I always buy those on sale. I never pay full price for those because I find those quite expensive what they are. Then I've got these, excuse my knees cracking. <coughs> these fridge bins are from Home Bargains. So I've got my um, Glitter Kiss a Cosmic Shimmer. I couldn't think what they were called then. My Nuvo. Like my mixed media stuff there. Bit of a tip, if you've got empty um, albums, they'll actually fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as long as they're all um, alternate ways. So these are my loose pattern papers, which when I'm building a scrapbooking kit, I use. But you know, I, I had, um, because obviously I inherited my mum's stuff as well, I have lots and lots of the stamping up paper pads. Lots of them are retired colours. But I use them to make my own envelopes. So I've actually broken all apart the um, stamp pads, uh, sorry, the paper pads, and I've now got them sorted by colour. Um, Christmas things in there. Bits and bobs in there. That's the trouble with these drawers sometimes, because you can't see it, you don't sort of organise them properly. Christmas cards in there, and then I've got five billion brads and eyelets. Then silhouette things there. This cupboard I need to repair, the door. Bits and bobs in there. As I get back up very slowly. So now, this, these are my billy box cases. And there's been some organisation here. Once again, I had one of those from Hobbycraft in their sale. Look out for their sales because they're really good prices then. They are, the f I think they're five by seven boxes because you can fit big photos in there. Then I've got, these I bought off eBay. These are lipstick holders. So as you can see, they're a bit too small for the whole bottle, but they hold the, the, the tops of the stickles in. I bought these today in Home Bargains. These are fab. They stack as well, so you could have two or three of those in a row. This is Totally Tiffany, Crafter's Companion. They had a sale recently and I picked up another one. I've got three in, in my current craft room. These are weight of my Stampin' Up inks and my Stampin' Up blends. This is that unpronounceable thing from Ikea. I know it begins with an F, that's all I know. Then I bought these um, tiered, I think they're for kitchen cabinets, like little tiered steps, once again the home bargains. Then these are fab, these again are totally Tiffany, and I've got all my stamping up papers. Now you've just got to remember as well that in my other house I've got even more paper, so I have got a shameful amount of paper. This section then is my Christmas section. So I've got all my Christmas stamping up sets. So I'll be moving by Christmas, otherwise I'm stuck. And then all my stamping up papers down there. I don't worry about retired items, I must be honest. I use what I, I keep what I like. Then once again, these are these, re these retired ones, and they're ones that I don't use as often. I've kept my frequently used ones in, in my current house. So I can use them all the time. I wonder if I can buy new, they used to sell um, new cases, I don't know whether they do now. Now I have colour coded my stamp sets and I'm using Evernote then to keep an inventory of what I've got. So I've done this with these little tiny dot stickers that I bought on either eBay or Amazon. So at least then if I'm looking for a floral one, I know to look for the yellow ones. And if I'm looking for birthdays, then I know to look for gold ones. Some of them have got two stickers if they're sentiments and something else. There we go. This is a new addition. Again, this is totally Tiffany. And again, I think I had this less than half price because this, this little setup here should be over £60. Well, I didn't pay any money of that because I think... I think that's an obscene amount of money for something so small. But I've got um, adhesives, I've got my television remote. As I say, I don't know whether it'll stay like this when I'm actually in the room. I've got my new waste paper bin from Ikea. 
And the biggest change is I've got my television on the wall at long last. So now when I'm over with Lee, as you can hear, he's busy downstairs, but there's no jobs for me to do at the moment. So I've been coming over and organising my craft room and generally having a little bit of a play about. Um, I think I've shown what's in these fabric bins. I've got um, sewing items, cross stitch items. Who needs just one hobby, isn't it? Let's have lots. Deco patch and then sewing kits, but they're not things that I need out all the time. And as you can see, I've got I've got some shelves spare, but let me tell you, I got I got enough to fill that then. But as I'm going through as well, I'm also having a sort of a bit of a purge and sorting things out. So this is my craft room as of the 22nd of February 2023. It's getting there. It's getting there. Hopefully we shouldn't be much longer waiting to have the lounge plastered. Now the lounge level plastered, then we can have it painted and then we can start getting our kitchen in, which will be fantastic. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope I've given you some ideas, especially people in the UK, because sometimes it's harder to find good storage solutions, but there's lots to be found in Ikea, home bargains, the range, Tesco's. Just keep your eyes peeled. So take care, everyone. Hail Vaur.